what's going on today YouTube Robert Kenyon back here with the Robert Kenyon 71k YouTube channel today we're gonna be tearing our carb off our motor on the race car and rebuilding it and we're gonna have you guys watching so stay tuned as you can see I'm gonna start by removing the air filter then I'm gonna remove throttle linkage fuel line return springs after we remove those we'll remove the carb from the adapter and we'll go from there to lift it right off and there it is carbs removed remove the carb gasket this is actually a brand new gasket so we might be able to reuse this one if i don't tear it but there we go carb is off now let's take her inside and get ready to clean it and tear it apart so just for a point of clarity we do tape off the top of the intake to make sure nothing gets down in the intake while I have the carburetor off. Don't need any dirt, grime, filth, junk, leaves because it is the fall time here right now. So don't need anything blowing off in there since we do work out of a carport, not a garage. All right, guys. So we've got our clean towel laid down here. We've got our carb. We've got our eight millimeter Craftsman wrench that we're going to remove these four bolts with to remove the flip bowl. All our bolts are out except for this one and we'll slide her out and we'll see what it looks like on the inside all right so float bowl is a little dirty but not super bad a little tarnish here's where your jets are our gasket is a little worn it will need to be cleaned All right, now to remove our jets. A little bit overkill. Just a little bit overkill on the screwdriver, but it fits the seam in the jets perfectly. So we'll go with a little bit of overkill. Those jets are pretty dirty. They're clear on the inside, but they've got a lot of gunk coming out around the threads. So guys, I think we're not gonna do a complete rebuild because it doesn't seem to need a complete rebuild. I think we're just gonna rebuild back here where the float bowl is, do what we have for that, put a new gasket in. And then we're also gonna clean our jets really good because I just want them cleaned really good and we may pull the squirter out of the top and clean it really good too just something you know just some little things to see if that helps with the carb the issue with the carb was it wasn't idling it would run 
once you got it running and if you kept giving it just a little bit of throttle to let it breathe, it would run really well. It didn't stumble when you would get on the gas and it was very responsive. So I think it just needs the floats cleaned and adjusted and new gaskets and stuff on the back. Right, guys, I went ahead and slid this off so we can get this old gasket off and this off. We're also gonna finish taking this off and then we'll start cleaning everything really well and we will put it back together. Mm. All right guys, so we went ahead and pulled that off top to get to this. We took our spring out. We're gonna clean everything up really well and just make sure we get it to running better. Also have this part disattached as I've already shown. We're gonna take it apart and replace this. Pull that off, clean it up really well. We wanna make sure this is spot on clean. We need this thing as clean as possible so it runs a lot better. All right guys, went ahead and broke this loose off screen so we could screw this out. I'm going to clean everything up with carb cleaner really well because it's definitely not the cleanest. There's a lot of sediment. So we'll spray this out real good with carb cleaner and we'll be back. Spray her down with a little bit of carb cleaner here. soak for a little bit. Now inside here we did. Get the carb nice and cleaned up. As you can see, the dirt's just running off of it. Take us a toothbrush and scrub it down real good. Make her nice and clean, make her look nice. Get her cleaned up for when we do the reassembly, make sure there's no big chunks of dirt or anything inside here to where we're gonna have any issues when we do reassembly. And also guys, reassembly will probably be a second video because I'm gonna do a little extra cleaning once the video is done to make sure I have all the junk in this out just because I want to make sure this car goes back together really well don't need any issues at the track had enough issues last year with stupid stuff that we could have caught beforehand and really need to get this put together correctly the first time around to where we don't have a bunch of issues so with that being said I'm gonna get back to cleaning for a little bit and I'll be back. All right guys, that's probably gonna do it for today's video. Um, look for the second half of the video of us putting the car back together and putting our kit together with it, putting it back on the car and see if we can get it to run right. As always, like, subscribe and comment and I'll catch you guys next time.